Welcome. This video presents a derivation of Archimedes' equation, aka, also known as, the buoyant force equation. The buoyant force equation tells us that the buoyant force on a body is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. If we have a body submerged in a liquid in a state of hydrostatic equilibrium, pressure acts at every point along the surface. Notice that the pressure is normal to the surface and compressive. Also, notice that the pressure is larger on the bottom than on the top. Because of this larger pressure here, there's a net upward force called the buoyant force. Our aim is to replace the pressure distribution with a statically equivalent buoyant force. Now, pressure is a ratio of force to area at each point. Thus, if we take force per area, multiply this by differential area, we get the force at a point. Next, if we add this up using an integral with a normal vector to keep track of direction of the force vector, we can calculate the net force due to pressure. The derivation does this for us in a very clever way. Let's get started. Step one is to visualize a body immersed in a fluid of constant density. And since density is constant, the specific weight, gamma fluid, will also be constant. Recall that a system is a collection of matter defined by the engineer. Step two is to define this system. As shown here, the face area is dA, and the height of the system is equal to the height of the body at the point in question. Notice that this system looks much like an apple core. Since, since the system is differential, uh, we're going to approximate both ends as horizontal. Now, the ends aren't really horizontal, as shown here, but the physics work out exactly the same because dA cosine theta is equal to dA horizontal. Step three is to find the external pressure force on my system. The force on the bottom of my system is the pressure on the bottom times dA. Similarly, the force on the top is P top times dA. The net pressure force on the system is pressure on the bottom minus pressure on top times dA. To find this pressure difference, we use the hydrostatic equation. The hydrostatic equation, in general, tells us that a pressure change is specific weight times an elevation change. Applying this, the pressure change is P bottom minus P top, and the elevation change is simply Z, where Z is defined as the height of my system with respect to my datum. Now we can substitute here as shown. Formally, if we combine equations 1 and 2, we see that the differential force on the system is given by these terms. But the height of the system times its area dA, so height times dA, is simply the volume of the system. Thus, the force on the system is the specific weight of the fluid times the differential volume of the system. Step four is to conceptualize the body as being comprised of n systems, as shown here. Step five is to sum forces. Notice in the limit, as we make our systems differential, the summation turns into the integral. Since specific weight is assumed to be constant, it can come out of the integral, and we're left with the, in the integral of differential volume over volume, so the final result is the force on the body, or the force on the finite system, is the specific weight of the fluid times the volume of the body. Now, it's conventional, instead of using volume of the body, to write this as volume displaced, or V subscript D, as shown here. The last step is to interpret the results. What are the physics? Well, this equation tells us that, that the buoyant force on a body, in newtons or pounds force, is equal to the weight of the displaced 
fluid in newtons or pounds force. While we derive this for the special case of constant density, this result, given in words here, generalizes to all cases as long as the pressure distribution is hydrostatic. I hope you have enjoyed this derivation and are, I hope that you are starting to learn how to do derivations on your own. We'll see you next time.